Hey there, Joel here and welcome to my channel Math World. Today we are going to learn the third method of solving a quadratic equation and that is completing square method. So I have an equation over here x square minus 6x plus 8 equals to 0. So before even you start solving completing square method, you have to check out whether the coefficient with x square is 1 or any other number. If it is 1, then you are good to go to the second step. If it is not 1, then there is another step that you will have to solve. So. We will try it in the next problem but right now since it is 1 what we will do is write this entire equation and write it keeping this plus 8 on the other side so this would become x square minus 6x equal to minus 8 then you have to remember a small formula which is last term is equal to middle term square upon 4. Now in this equation of mine my middle term is minus 6 right so all I will do is square this middle term divided by 4 and that will be a new term right so that would become uh, minus 6 square upon 4 which is 36 upon 4 and if you cancel this off 4 and this will become 9 so this 9 is my new term that new number 9 that I got a calculation I need to add over here and since I'm adding a new number of my own over here it will change the entire equation but I don't want to do that so what I would do is add 9 on this side as well because if I take this positive 9 other side of equal to it will become negative 9 so plus 9 and negative 9 will get cancelled so it will come to that general equation back again so all I have done is I have calculated with the formula the number 9 and that is added on the left hand side and right hand side from here what I have to do is I will write I have three terms over here so from this first term now since it is x square I'll just take x and from the second term it is 9 right so 3 3 is a 9 so I will just write 3 over here sign I have to take from the middle term so what I have done, I have taken the first term, whatever is there, I have written it once. So x squared, I have just written x of that. 9, I have just written 3 because 3, 3 is 9. So I have just written 3 over here. Sign, I have taken from the middle number. Okay, and this would become minus n plus minus. So I will get positive 1 over here. Okay. And this I have to write as square. Now will ask me why am I doing this entire step? It is because if I write a minus b the whole square it will become a square minus 2ab plus b square. I am sure everyone knows this. Okay now see what happens if I take in place of a if I take x and in place of b if I take 3 so this would become x square minus 2 a b right so 2 x into 3 will become 6 x and it will become plus 9 is this and this term same yes it is right 
that's the reason I have taken this and written in this form so it will become x minus 3 the whole square you don't have to write all these steps this is just for your understanding how did I get x minus 3 from here so coming back I will rewrite this for you so I've written the entire equation again and I have to write x of this term because x square I'll just write it once 9 will be written as 3 because 3 3 is a 9 and sign of the middle term will be taken and this will be put in a bracket with a square because a minus b the whole square will be this as my answer and minus 8 plus 9 will give me 1 now the whole idea of solving this quadratic equation is to find the value of x but if I try to find out from here I'm I will be finding x minus 3 the whole square which I don't want so all I will do is take a root sign over here and take a root sign over here so this would become this root and the square will get cancelled and what I will be left with is x minus 3 which will be now root of any number when you are calculating you will have to put either plus or minus that number why is because if I say minus 2 square and plus 2 square the answer is 4 in both the cases so if I take root either it can be a minus 2 or it can be a plus 2 that's the reason I've put plus or minus sign over here so this would become there are two possibilities right so either it is plus or minus so I'll have to write it as x minus 3 is equal to plus 1 or x minus 3 is equal to minus 1 so x 3 goes on the other side so 1 plus 3 will become 4 and here it will become minus 1 plus 3 will become 2 so therefore my factors are so you have to write factors are 4 and 2 let us take another problem that is 2x square plus 5x minus 3 equal to 0 now I've told you that this term over here has to be 1 if it is not 1 then all I will do is whatever the number is over here I will divide it throughout the equation so this would become if I divide this by 2 this by 2 and this also by 2 it would become I will write it again x square plus 5x upon 2 and the idea is to write the coefficient the term which doesn't have any variable the constant on the other side so I will write minus 3 upon 2 will become positive 3 upon 2 then I have to do it use the formula last term is equal to mt square upon 4 my middle term is 5 upon 2 and divided by 4 so I have to square this right so this will become 25 upon 4 multiplied by 4 which will be 25 upon 16 I hope this is visible over here so this part so it will become 25 upon 16 so this number 25 upon 16 will be added over here 25 upon 16 and 25 upon 16 now coming back to this part I have this is x square right so I will write x and 25 root of 25 is 5 and root of 16 is 4 and sine of the middle term the whole square is equal to you'll have to calculate over here with an LCM and that would become to find the value over here all I will do is take 2 and 16 separately and 
take the smallest prime number so 2 2 ones are is 2 and 2 eights are 16 and this will become 2 fours are 8 2 twos are 4 and 2 ones are 2 so multiply all these numbers so it will become 2 twos are 4 4 twos are 8 8 twos are 16 so 16 will come as the denominator I'll take the first fraction 3 upon 2 multiply it by whatever number I've put in the denominator so this will become 2 ones are 2 eights are and 8 into 3 is 24 then I'll take the second fraction that is 25 upon 16 multiplied by whatever number I've put in the denominator cancel 16 and 16 what I will get is plus 25 so this would become x plus 5 upon 4 the whole square is equal to 49 upon 16 I don't want to find out any square of variable x but I want to find out value of x so all I will do is take a root sign over here take a root sign over here and this root and the square will get cancelled and what will happen is I will get x plus 5 upon 4 is equal to I told you whenever you are taking a root there will be the plus number or negative of that so this would become 7 upon 4 correct now since it is plus or minus it will be x plus 5 upon 4 is equal to plus 7 upon 4 or x plus 5 upon 4 is equal to minus 7 upon 4 and I'm sure you will be able to solve this problem after this part because this plus 5 upon 4 will go on the other side and will become minus 5 upon 4 so I will do that for you so x will be 7 upon 4 minus 5 upon 4 now since my denominators are same I can write them once 7 minus 5 is 2 and I hope you can see this okay and 2 ones are 2 twos are so my one value of x is 1 upon 2 similarly the second one will become x is equal to minus 7 upon 4 minus 5 upon 4 my denominators are same so I can write this once and this would become minus 12 so 4 ones are 4 threes are so minus 3 therefore my factors are 1 upon 2 and minus 3 and if you have understood this entire method you can try these two problems and if you like my work please don't forget to hit the like button share the video with your friends subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any updates till then this is Joel saying bye to you take care and God bless